Here's the College of Law, people. This is what they're teaching people at the College of Law, is how to usurp your rights. So, they just was informed that I shouldn't, they didn't want me to, um, is getting the free government cheese, more government cheese. There's the government cheese. We're in a government building built by the people. And they're telling me I can't film. The reality is that we already have two destructive legal drugs, alcohol and tobacco, with nicotine. And we can see the destructive nature of those two drugs and their legal use. Alcohol-related crashes kill someone in the U.S. every 22 minutes. In any one minute, 150 drivers on the road is drunk. Alcohol-related accidents are the leading cause of deaths among young people. Drunk drivers are responsible for half highway fatal injuries. About two-thirds of people arrested in larger cities for felonies test positive for illegal drugs as well. This is going to get this going to get And more than half of all confirmed abuse reports and 75% of child deaths involve alcohol abuse or drug use on the part of parents. What do they want with their own bodies? What's the problem? I've been to Amsterdam three times. Yeah, I've yeah. been there as somebody who's a criminal but, defense attorney for 17 years. There's a public years. building. I was a justice study major right here at ASU. Not I'm not interested in this stuff. That is a public building. I witnessed I'm, I'm a lot part of the public. drug deals in Amsterdam. Would you mind coming you know in? No, goes? I do mind. Somebody walks in and says, hey, I'm going to continue to videotape. There's a public big building. There's a discussion. There's a public building. I'm part of the public. I have a right to drugs are bought. There's even a microscope. You can look at the merchandise. And you know what? There's no games. Do whatever there's you no want. guns. There's no violence. Do there's no want, arrests. There's no problem. There's no need to pay a criminal defense attorney. Nobody's going to jail. The cops just walk right by and there's no problem. Nobody's going to jail. Nobody's going to jail. The cops just walk right by and there's no problem. And there's no black market in Amsterdam until <coughs> 1 o'clock. When the legal market closes, then guess what happens? The black market shows up. No, not at all. Some of my best friends were libertarians. <laughs> that tension is healthy. It reminds conservatives when we go to fall. It reminds conservatives that even when you do want to make an argument about something good for the government to do, that there are limits and prescriptions within our written constitution. And that is what we deal with. And by going back and referring to those fundamental traditions and principles that our country was founded on, it keeps us in check. It keeps us. What is your name? I'm afraid. I what is your name? The loss what, is your name? what is your name? Shelley Soto. What is your name? What is your name? My name is Shelley Soto. Okay. And what is your job? I'm an associate dean here at the law school. Okay. And I have been asked to tell you that because of the journey, I'm going to be allowed to videotape. Is there a law against what he's doing? Do not keep, if you do not do, Again, if you do not turn off the uh, video camera, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm we need to ask you to leave. Okay, well, what if, I, what if I... And, what if, the, and the police are going to charge you with trespass if you do not. Uh, okay, what about all the other people that are videotaping? Anybody videotaping okay. has to cease and desist. Well, it's already been recorded now. It's already been recorded. Just, I'm going to put it on YouTube. You're going to get a million hits on it anyway. Go ahead and take it down. Go ahead and take it down. So, okay, so you're saying this is... It's over. It's over now. Go ahead and, okay. go ahead and kill it. Okay. We got what we wanted. Well, and of course beforehand, you know, Thomas asked politely, Thomas asked politely if he can film. No, I said I heard you have, you have, uh, you, you can't film? I mean, what the hell? This is a public building. You're not going to stop shit. You're not going to say I'm going to have a meeting. You can't record. Well, you guys were noisy. I'm sorry. I had yeah, to say. No, we no, we were not noisy. They were noisy. They were they were uh, the they ones disturbing the peace. To leave. That's when the noise yeah. started. Right. You were yeah. Quiet the whole time. Yeah, I didn't say a, um, I didn't say a peep. I don't want my my noise on my own video. And then they got somebody going, like, oh, they must ask me three or four times. Seeing, like, so, what do you think of uh, of, of being thrown out? You're welcome. Thrown out. Yeah, they threw us out. Oh, you're recording. Yeah, they throw it out. Well, I told what, you how, how do you feel about you know the rights of the individual to be left alone? Uh, as I said during the debate, you know, maximize liberty within an orderly society. Right. Well, but they're the right. ones being unorderly. They're the ones causing the disturbance. So, Mr. Montgomery, real quick, real quick. You talk about uh, the libertarians creating a utopian society, right? No, I didn't. Huh? Yeah, you did. They, they have this grandiose idea of a utopian society that we don't act, actually live there. No, well, I can go right. rewind this and I'll show it. But anyway, yeah, well, uh, aren't I'll, you I'll trying I'll to create it? I'll say it again for you what I did say. What? I said in order to accept, well. The, the libertarian position
position on this requires a construct about the nature of man and community, much like communism does. And it requires a utopian view of how people interact with one another in a community. To create your own, your own utopian society where people don't use drugs by using the force of government, you're trying to create your own set of utopia where people don't use trans fats, where people use government force to create your own society? No. What? By the power of the majority through a vote? Not through the minority. It's the minority through it's a vote. It's actually the minority right now. The minority of the ruling class, the plundering class, to steal from everybody else. And how can you say that people who are thrown in prison in, in prison don't create more problems and create more people on the welfare system? Montgomery's a typical liberal using government. No, he's you a communist. Government communist. You from it, dude. Communist. You're a big government fa a favorite. You're the big government. Apologist. I almost went to him to ask him. Uh, I would like to know where I can go to get a license, uh, to apply for a license for freedom, because that's what he said. Uh -huh. Another important thing to point out, too, is that Mr. Victor is confusing freedom with license. Freedom in our society is not the freedom to do anything you want. That would be license. License for freedom? Where do I go? I almost asked the That would have been a good one. The dumb guy. What do you want to look for? He said it's not a, a license, though, right? Yeah, he said, well, there is a license for freedom. Okay, where do I go to apply? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's called you got to become part of the government cabal. They're criminals.